navigation, do it at once. The it's only like coyote. Really? Dead Sorry. coyote. That's okay. <laughs> we'll zoom in on it. It probably looked like crap, Ew, but I'll try. Don't do that. <laughs> You don't want the 60s? Sure. <laughs> oh, you're gonna change it. Shut up, come on. Just use autopilot, you butthead. What are the chances of this? Bathrooms are closed for 15 to 20 minutes. There are more plugs than gas stations. I mean, every gas station has plugs at it, right? That, that is a really good point. Yeah. That, that is the truest thing I've heard all day. Time we're going to New York City. Our drive is about 650 miles. It should take us about 12 hours with charging. I can put a map up to show you our route, what we're going to do. We have four supercharger stops. Um, I actually did that on purpose, um, but we'll talk about that when we're driving. So let's check out the car and what we got packed up. So we're just going for a few days. We don't have much. Uh, I just have a bag. Stephanie has a suitcase and we have nothing actually in the sub trunk. As far as charging goes, I did go to 100%. Uh, I hate doing that because you lose your regen braking and you have to use your brakes like a normal car, but that's all right. So to plan our route, you can just use the Tesla in-car planner, but I find Tesla's solution sends you for the longest drives. So it sends you as far as you can go and then you stop at a supercharger for as long as possible. Uh, and the way I prefer to do this is make more frequent stops because, you know, you get a little bored driving too much and it's nice to get up and walk around a bit. And this way you can just drive uh, for a shorter amount of time and then charge for a shorter amount of time. So most of our charging stops are less than 20 minutes. Are you excited? Yeah, but put water bottles in the cooler. What are you doing? I have water cans in there. Tasmanian sent out this really nice cooler for me to share with everybody. So we're going to test it out on this road trip. They say it can stay cold for 48 hours. So I think for our 12 hour drive that we shouldn't have a problem. Um, but it's really nice. Got plenty of room. They sent out actually three of these ice packs with it. The other two are under the ice. I just put a small bag of ice in here. Um, so I'll probably end up with a dedicated review video of this. But if you're interested, there is a 20% off code in the description if you want to check out this cooler. The other thing I do back here, it's hard to see because like everything is black, but um, I keep this seat cover. Just because, you know, as you're traveling, you're just throwing stuff around. You're not thinking about it. And so this thing we actually use for the dogs. Uh, it has a lower part that you can lift up and put here, so it's kind of like a U-shape. Um, but I just put it on the back and the bottom seat, and then it protects the seats as you're traveling. You can throw stuff. You don't have to worry too much about it. So this is what I usually do with the frunk. I have a really long extension cord, just in case. I don't think we'll need it, but you never know. Um, and then in here, I, will, I have my different charging plugs, so just the normal wall plug. And then the J1772 adapter. Again, I don't think I'll need any of this, but you always bring it just in case. And then when I unplug the car, I'll put the full charger just up in the front, ready to go. Okay, so we're heading out. Um, we're currently calculating the route just via the Tesla planner straight to our hotel, uh, but we probably won't use the route that they choose. Um, I already figured out the route, which I'll show you, or I already showed you. Um, and so we'll route to the superchargers, but I always like to see, you know, what Tesla suggests we do. We just routed straight to our hotel, which we're not going to do. We're not going to use the Tesla nav, but it is suggesting this is our first stop, which we were going to do anyway. Um, but the difference is you can see here, they want us to charge for 55 minutes. And I think we're only charging for like 17 minutes and then we're going to move to the next charger. So Tesla only has a stopping, it looks like twice. That's crazy. Um, so we're gonna stop four times, and then we don't have to sit in the car as long, and each charge doesn't take nearly as long as well. You want the 60s? No. You don't want the 60s? So we're getting our little message here, stay below 75. I, I don't really know why it's saying that. It, originally it said we were gonna get there with 10%, and now it says 5%. Um, and there's a few chargers on the way, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, but as we get close, see now the message is gone. So we're kind of right on the brink of that. Maybe we're going too fast. 
So interesting point about the Tesla navigation, it just actually changed our route without us doing anything to a closer supercharger. Um, it thinks, I guess, that we can't make it. Uh, I don't believe it. I think part of why it thinks we can't make it is because it's a little colder right now, so this, this road trip's a little colder than our last one, and of course batteries aren't as efficient in the cold. So we're kind of like trying to figure out this is where we're going. It, it rerouted us to the Strongsville one. This is originally where we were going to go. So they're not even that far apart. So at this Macedonia one we were going to go to originally, it's just a bunch of restaurants. So we'll probably go to Strongsville. Sheets. Just a quick one hour check-in. So an hour into the drive. Um, we were actually looking at the total time. And so we'll be there in 10 hours, which is an hour less than we thought. So that's pretty cool. I thought it was supposed to be a 12 hour drive. We'll see how that actually pans out. The other thing, the Tesla nav is actually taking us to the exact same chargers as a better route planner. So that is really exciting, and I'm just gonna let the Tesla navigation do what it wants. The it's only like a coyote. Really? Like yes. A... That's what that was? Sure that was a coyote. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I saw it. That was dead Sorry. coyote. That's okay. I'm glad we'll zoom in on it. It probably looked like crap, Ew, but I'll try. Don't do that. <laughs> Um, so the only difference is after this charger we were planning on stopping at another charger right near our destination uh, just to charge up the battery because I don't think there's any charging at the hotel and I want to park at the hotel with at least 50% look at that traffic <laughs> we're not driving are we gonna drive in there in New York yeah uh, you wanted to drive in there I'm I'm uh, I'm afraid I feel like I would need a good night's sleep first <laughs> some coffee and a bagel and then just like tough it out but i think we would be stuck there in the city for a really long time all right well we'll see we'll see if we actually drive in new york the other thing i changed my navigate on autopilot which i am using to confirmation lane changes so that lane change i just did it suggested it because it saw that truck was slow but i had to confirm it um, and i'm actually really enjoying that uh, and i think it's a much better thing to use on a road trip when you're not as familiar with where you are um, because you know you don't want the car bouncing around all over the place and so here it's not going to do anything until i hit the turn signal and i flash my brakes <laughs> uh, and then it'll move over so that's I'm, I'm really enjoying that so this is the macedonia one which we originally were going to go to and now we can easily make it there with 13%. Or if you want to go to Sheets, you know, it's a lot closer. Okay, so we're gonna go to Macedonia like originally planned, and we're just gonna drive through McDonald's and get breakfast really quick, and then we can eat while we're charging. I guess the only advantage to Sheets is like we could be charging while we got breakfast. Well, yeah, because Sheets, we can just go in there and get the breakfast. Okay, never mind. We're going to Strongsville to go to Sheets. And this charger is actually faster, I noticed. This one is 150 kilowatt, which... So Sheets is 150 kilowatt. Oh, stop. Holy... So Sheets is 150 kilowatt, whereas this Macedonia one is only 120. Um, which, I don't know, would save you like a couple minutes. But I guess it would add up over time. Look at that, this is where we were before. Oh, autopilot's getting very confused. It's trying to decide where to go. Oh my gosh. There, it, it figured it out. That wasn't that wasn't terrible. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we're heading to our first supercharger, which is the same as last time. Which kind of makes sense if you're going in the same general direction, you have the same range on the car and everything. Uh, but that's cool. We're familiar with this one. We know where to go, what to do. So it'll be even easier. Reunited and it feels so good. Oh, line for supercharging. Oh no, there's a line for air. <laughs> Everybody's got flat tires. Yeah, that's really weird. Model X, what up? You're not supposed to pull in like that. That's for people who are towing stuff. <laughs> I learned that last time when I did it in part one people were telling me okay here we go plugging in this takes forever for it to 
figure out that it's ready, but that's okay. Uh, car is only a little dirty. Cleaned it not too long ago. Okay. So, charging is looking good. I just want to check our next stop really quick. So we're at 123 kilowatts. I think it should be faster than that, but whatever. Navigate to Falls Creek Supercharger. So it says we just need to charge for 25 minutes and then we'll basically have enough range to get where we need to go. Um, it was supposed to be 79% from that other supercharger, but that one was closer. So we want to be like 85% maybe. Yeah, see if I bought like that Sony camera, this would be much more awkward. Yes. Yeah. This is a gigantic camera filming in Sheets. All right, paid, got our food. If you haven't been to Sheets, it's just like a gas station. What? Why would they put like local things when I feel like most people that come here are uptown? Like I'm not gonna get my cabinets installed. You know, yeah. Okay. Oh man, a couple more Model 3s have pulled up since we started. Everybody spaced out appropriately. If you've never been to Sheets, it's like a gas station, but they have food and ice cream and a place to sit down so it's kind of a perfect supercharger stop but we're gonna eat in the car all right let's see how our cooler is doing wow it's still cold what a surprise but i need a drink do you want your juice did you see i got you cranberry juice you got me cranberry juice yeah do you like that yeah sure thanks cran 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 raspberry cran apple raspberry <laughs> amazed we only have five minutes left. Like, we could not have done any of that any faster. We were not even taking our time. This is why Tesla road trips are awesome. Yes. And we, like, how far to the next stop? Because we don't have time to even go to the bathroom again. Yeah. Let's just go. All right, car will have extra charge. It's guacamole on a schmagel. This is just like last time. We're pulling into the charger with more uh, battery than we thought. And it's done. Uh, before we are. I mean, we still have to eat, and I was going to use the bathroom again before we go, just so that we can make it to the next stop. Um, but it's awesome, and then I didn't really drive anything here. Autopilot's been on the whole time. But Autopilot, you can eat while you're driving, and it's okay. Oh, well. Like, you don't have to freak out as yeah, much. Yeah, that's like... true. Maybe I just won't eat yet. Like my guacamole schmagel on the road. Okay, so we're at 87%, and oh, it went away. But um, I'll put it on the screen because I have it recorded. So we paid, I think, somewhere around $6. Um, or we would have paid somewhere around $6 for this supercharging stop. But thank you to you guys. We have a lot of referral miles. And so all our supercharging will be free for the trip. If you're going to buy a Tesla, use somebody's referral code. I have mine in the description. Or if you got a buddy, use theirs and you'll both get uh, free miles. So that's always really nice. But I'll put up a total of what the trip would have cost us. So we're heading to the next stop. We're going to get to the next stop with 15%, which is good. So I usually aim for 15%. The Tesla will take into account your speed, but it's gonna assume you're going the speed limit the entire time. So if you're going over the speed limit, you'll use a little more energy than the car uh, thinks you do. And it also takes into account elevation, um, but it does not take into account the temperature. So if it's really cold out, you're gonna go through energy a lot faster than the car thinks, and so you need to be careful about that. Um, normally rolling into a stop with an estimated 10% or more is fine for me. 5% um, is cutting it a little close, but 10% is like 30 miles, so um, I, I think there's enough kind of room for error in that. On the road again. Okay. <laughs> the guy is trying to take off. Go little Buick, go. So we're going from Michigan to New York and we're only staying for two nights you know and some people were like uh, that's a really long drive but you know with autopilot it just makes it so much easier that I don't even care um, it's part of the trip right and it's awesome and we're going to meet a friend and it was he's from the UK it's kind of a maybe a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity so we didn't want to miss it um, and again just like if I didn't have autopilot and we were gonna be paying a ton for gas it would have been a lot harder to justify this trip, um, but the Tesla just makes it worth it. It makes it easy and fun. Oh, I kind of like going to superchargers. I don't know about you. I like the food. Yeah, people are like, are you flying there? Like, no, I have a Tesla. Why would I fly there? Exactly. Plus, I, yeah. we have a baby, so we're not going to stay longer because we missed 
miss our baby. It's funny because on our last trip we were like, yay, green leaves and flowers. And now it's like fall colors. <laughs> everything's dying. It's true. Well, I mean, it's Yay, just, everything's dying. That's all that fall is. It's just a slow death until winter. That's all it is. So it's been five and a half hours since we left the house. It doesn't feel like it. It's like going by really fast. So here's our stats. You have to add 13 miles to this because I reset it a little late. Um, but you can see we've gone like 250 miles or so. Um, and we've already had to charge once from a full battery and we're at 66%. If the car really gets 300 miles per charge, you would think we wouldn't have even needed to charge yet. But when you're going a lot faster, the car uses more energy uh, than what's rated. So you have to stop a little more, but you can see it didn't really affect the trip. I mean, we still stopped and charged for a few minutes um, and then we were just you know, off on our way. Another thing that's really good to keep an eye on on these road trips is your energy graph here. So the car does a lot of this for you, so you don't have to pay too much attention if you don't want. But this is gonna show you when you start your trip, it has an estimate. And remember, it said we were gonna get there with 15%, and that's what this gray line is. That's what the car thought when we started this trip. Since we've had to drive a little slower, because of construction and traffic and stuff, now it's estimating we're gonna get there with 18%. So you can see the amount of energy we're using is not as much as predicted. And what's really nice is the biggest factor in energy use is right here, it's your speed. So if you think you're gonna get somewhere with less energy than you're comfortable with, all you do is slow down, even five miles per hour makes a huge difference in the amount of energy used, and then you'll get there with way more than, than what's predicted. So we're about a half hour from our next stop and we've had a lot of rain for this stretch and autopilot actually keeps kind of giving up on me. I get a big red warning here saying take over uh, and it seems like the car is still driving when it says that but as soon as I wiggle the steering wheel at all then it just turns itself off um, and I haven't really ever seen that before so that's pretty weird. I think it's related to the rain. Like the water coming off of that car is what seems to cause it if I get too close to another car, a semi or something. Um, so I'll try to get it on camera, but it's it seems really random. I haven't been able to kind of predict it happening. There it is. So take over immediately, and I put just a tiny bit of force on the wheel um, and then it the message goes away so I have no idea I've never seen that before and I did notice with version 10 uh, autopilot seems to give up easier than it used to like if you're going into a roundabout or a situation it can't normally handle it used to like never almost never come out of autopilot um, but it seems easier now so it's a bit annoying but it is hard to see I have my following distance set to three um, and then within, you know, a minute or less, usually autopilot's available again and I can turn it back on. Um, so pretty interesting, but you know, that's why you keep a hand on the wheel. All right, here is stop number two. This is a huge bump. Ugh. Another sheets, a new one. We've never been here. I have no idea where the chargers are. Uh, let's go this way. Can you, there's a wall. Oh, so we gotta go like around the back, okay. Oh, they have a way station and everything. Yeah, okay, there's another wall. All right, so I turned too early. Let's go back. That's, <laughs> that's just the trucker entrance. This truck is about to experience it as well. Uh, he looks like he might be a trucker. Do not enter. Oh, too bad. <laughs> I don't have a choice. Car entrance, yeah, it's behind all the other signs. Okay, I see the superchargers over here. You can take this one. charging. Let's get our next stop up, which is Bloomberg, Pennsylvania. Bloomsburg. Navigate to Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania supercharger. What? <laughs> what? What kind of a name is that? So we only have a 20 minute charge here. Uh, and these aren't as exact as the numbers on 
a better route planner, which says 21 minutes. So 20 minutes and we'll be done. So let's go. I don't know. All right, here's a disadvantage for you. We got to walk in the rain. Good exercise. Still worth it. Look at your cool orange root. I literally had time to go to the bathroom, get this coffee made, and come back out to the car. And it's done. How is gas any better than that? I would still have to go to the bathroom. I'd probably still want a coffee. And my car was fueling itself. Well, Chris's car was fueling it's your car itself. Too while i was doing those things that's that's efficient that's multitasking we're off um i did want to talk for a second but this is the theme of supercharging it's just it's super fast and that's good that's fine super like super charging super fast eh. and it's really fast and people are like you need to get a tesla you need to plug it in and you get a little charge when I have a gas car and I just get fill up the gas. No, they don't understand. It is really fast. That's why when, you know, I was talking about version 10 and getting Netflix and Cuphead and I was like, yeah, that's cool, but I I don't ever see myself using it because I mean I guess if we had to charge all the way to 100 percent then sure, I'll use it then. But that's like never the case because the superchargers are spaced apart for 95% of the country. They're spaced apart in a way that makes it so you just have to charge enough to get to the next one, which isn't that long, anywhere from 15 to maybe 25 minutes. Um, and the other thing I, I wanted to address really quick, in part one, people were talking about, oh, this is so complicated. You're talking about charging and what percentages you got to get to and blah, blah, blah. And well, yeah, I'm, I'm making a video <laughs> about it and, and sharing it with everybody. So if I was doing this and I'm not making a video, I wouldn't be thinking about it or talking about it. The, the car tells you what to do. I would just plug in and go get coffee and go to the bathroom or whatever, and then that would be it. I would come back out and drive away. Uh, sorry, but that's so that's why I'm you know going over all of this with you, talking about our efficiency, you know, and, and tracking all the mileage and stuff. I mean, I personally find all those kind of statistics and stuff fun anyway. Um, but but that's why I'm doing it. I'm not doing it because you have to be like hyper aware. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to address that because that was one thing a lot of people were saying and. and uh, our road trip to North Carolina. Now, the Netflix stuff would be cool if I could watch it while you were driving. I know. But it, I understand that's a safety issue. Yeah, I, I wish there was some way around that, but I understand there's really not. I mean, you could just use your phone, of course, but this, I mean, it's just such a nice screen. Yeah. And the sound system is so nice, and the chairs are so comfortable. Um, I mean, that's why it's cool. But, um, yeah, that's all right. I think once the cars are fully driving themselves and I don't have to keep my hands on the wheel, then Netflix will be allowed. What is going on? Come on, let's go. Okay, so good. Yep, we'll get there with 18%, which is plenty. Um, and even this supercharger we rolled in, it said 15%, but we rolled in with more than, than predicted. So that's, I, I think that's happened every, literally every time I've stopped somewhere. Uh, on either road trip it's always had more and the, the cool thing is is if there's something unexpected happens or whatever there's a supercharger right here so we could just plug in there for I mean literally like two minutes it's an ad you know 50 miles of range or something to make it to the next one um, but of course I don't see anything like that happening but there's enough superchargers on most routes that you have options you know you're not just restricted to that one not to mention looking on like a, the app plug share and trying to find um, other level two plugs that are not superchargers, but will give you a decent charging speed. Just sneak up to someone's house and just stick a plug through their window. You could you could do that too. There are more plugs than gas stations. I mean, every gas station has plugs at it, right? That that is a really good point. Yeah. That that is the truest thing I've heard all day. Alright, heading to 
Supercharger number three. Well, look, we can park in the middle of traffic. That's cool. So this one's at, uh, what did I say, Red Robin or something? Or Ruby Tuesday and a hotel. So that's not all that exciting. Looks like a gas station's right there, but the weather's like awful. So this doesn't make like the most fun road trip video because we don't want to do anything. But I think we're meeting a subscriber at this uh, Supercharger, which is pretty fun. Or someone from Twitter. That doesn't mean they subscribe to me, but that sounds way more weird. Someone from Twitter. This is so weird. Really Look at that. It's like all flooded. It's and creepy. It's like a construction site. Oh my gosh. This is super weird. There they are. Oh, nice. Good, good spot. It's the first time I spotted them before you. <laughs> all right, number three. There's a Tesla parked right there. Not in the supercharger. Is it must be buddy? done. I don't know. Where are you going? I'm just doing a really far back up. What's up everybody? We're at the Supercharger and this is Jim Messino. Thank you for meeting us here. So he's a yeah. subscriber. He saw on Twitter that we were going to be here so he met up with us. Um, and it's just really cool. So you're the second person I met. Is that so, right? On, yes, yeah. On today's Someone, trip, huh? uh, No, no, no. Not today's trip. Oh, ever. ever. Second subscriber. So I met a guy, I think his name was Tom, a few months ago when I was getting my tires rotated. Um, but thank you for coming out. No, it's, it's my pleasure. I, you know, like I feel like I'm meeting a celebrity. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just normal <laughs> Two guy. Two celebrities. Stephanie's trying to give us an umbrella. And it means all, you know, all the charging is done, right? Oh, no, she wants us to not get all wet, but that's okay. Okay, we're at uh, Supercharger 3, right? Yeah. So Supercharger 3, we just met Jim. We were talking to Jim. <laughs> Stephanie's hiding in the car because it's raining. I don't blame her. I felt bad that we were, like, stuck out there, but it was super fun to talk to him. So um, thank you, Jim, for, you know, meeting me here. That's that's really cool. He has a sweet-looking Model 3, oh, too. Oh, yeah, there's his car over there. Can they see it? Yep. Yep. He's got black on black. I like it. It's pretty sleek. So this one's at a Ruby Tuesday, so we're just hanging out in the car, and we're gonna stop at um, a gas station or something. There was Jim. To use the bathroom. So we're gonna make one additional stop nearby, and then we'll be on the way. We have about 10 minutes of charging left here, um, so it's it's a perfect place for to meet Jim because you know that took some time, and that was a lot of fun to talk to him. I wish it wasn't raining. I know. This the weather's kind of putting a damper on the whole thing. I hope we still seem happy because we are. <laughs> we're happy that it's raining today and not tomorrow when we're actually like touring the city. Yes, that's true. And I said to him, I was like, yeah, we're going in, in, into the city tomorrow. And he goes, You are? I was like, We're not going to drive there, but uh, we're going to take an Uber. And he's like, Yeah, that's the way to go. He's like, Do not drive there. And I was like, Well, we thought about doing it tonight. He goes, No. <laughs> so we should probably take Jim's advice. Yeah. Although with the viewers, we'd probably be disappointed. You guys want to see it, but what if we had Uber Uber footage? <laughs> you know, like come on. Yeah, let's... you wouldn't even know we weren't in the Model Three. We'll just take all the footage outside the window. Yeah. So yeah, do you you want to try some Netflix or something? Yeah. I didn't totally just say that was useless at the last stop. I did. I didn't say that. Well, it's because we're choosing not to go in to a place. You know what I mean? Leaving stop three, this is the second stop in a row with no other Teslas. That is pretty crazy. I expected to see some more people, but I guess it's Wednesday, so not a whole lot of people are traveling. And these superchargers are definitely, like, far from people. Far from people? Well, I mean, like... There's there's a lot of people here. I don't know. Like, far from, like, it's, neighborhoods? Yeah, it seems like they're kind of tucked away where you're only going to them on a trip. I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, just quick while you're ahead. Oh, there's a gas station, which has probably got a gross bathroom in it. Unless it's a big bathroom, which it might be. Do those creepy gas stations even exist anymore where they, like, the, the bathroom is outside and you got to go inside and get the key and I don't know. unlock the door and then it's like this but creepy this bathroom nicer. without a toilet seat. All right, just after leaving the third stop, just real quick, here's our trip stats. We're just about to hit 500 miles. Um, and efficiency is pretty good. So we started at 7 a.m. But we've been going for nine hours. I feel pretty good. How about you? Yeah. So it's easy and fun. Very, very easy. Rolling into our last stop, we just got off the live stream. That was like 
tons of fun. I had a lot of fun, like, answering questions. And a little chaotic? Uh, yeah, it was insane because I'm trying to drive, answer questions, but... There was a Tesla over there. Did you see it? No, I didn't. Oh, I see it in the rear view. Um, so, yeah, that was fun. If you were there, thank you. That was just too much fun. <laughs> I'll, I'll uh, try to do some live streams here and there because it was, I don't know, one of my favorite parts of doing these videos and YouTube and everything is talking with everybody. And uh, that way I could, like, back and forth with you rather than just comments or... Um, you know, trying, because, I don't know, I don't always get comment notifications, so that can be annoying. So anyway, um, we're taking some really super weird way to get to this last charger. And it's, like, really dark, and I can't see anything. Okay. Every road here is divided with concrete. It's dangerous. What do they do in the winter? Yeah. That's insane. <laughs> Where are we? I don't know. This is so weird. So yeah, this will be our last stop. Whatever, we'll talk about it when we get there. All right, charger number four, Parsnippany. Persnip, Persnippinum. Persnippany. Persnippany. It's just so dark. There's no Teslas. So, like, our first charger had, like, three, and every other charger was empty. That's because no one owns their car here because they can't drive. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Because there's too much traffic. All right, let me plug in. You know what I just realized? Those gas people have a roof and we don't what's up with that it's because they'll blow up all right that's <laughs> you got a good point don't want to blow up so i'm going to charge to i think it's like 79 percent or something like that we might get a little bit extra because we're not really in a rush and then we're off to the hotel and i think we're done we're not going to the city are we Probably yeah not in the it's rain. too dark that and sucks. so we're at 136 kilowatts i don't know what it was i mean i'm at the point where now i'm not so like obsessed with what's going on because I just know it works so well. I just plug it in and keep going. We're at 136 kilowatts now, uh, which is a really fast charge speed. All the chargers we visited are level two, which is a 150 kilowatt max. There aren't any level three, which is 250 kilowatt. And you can see here, I'm getting like 550 miles an hour. Um, it'll go up to 600 miles an hour. And level three is actually over, at least in the model three, it's over a thousand miles an hour of charging. What? Yeah, so level three is like stupidly fast, but there's none on the East Coast yet. Um, they're gonna be, well, some leaked documents show that they're gonna be in Florida soon. Um, so that'll be cool. But I probably won't get to use one of those for a very long time. Can I have some of your Gatorade when you're done with it? There's like these little stations in between each of the pumps. Yeah, I think that's where the workers are. Some states you're not allowed to pump gas, so I think maybe that's what it is. What? Yeah, when I lived in Massachusetts, I was literally not allowed to pump gas. Like, they would always pump it for me. That's crazy, but kind of cool. Okay, I'm Googling it. Can you pump gas in Pennsylvania? You know what? We're in New Jersey. Why is it like a law that you can't? Super dangerous. See? Electricity is much safer than dangerous gas. New Jersey has made it illegal for people to pump their own gas since 1949. There you go. We just tried Hulu and it didn't work, so that's lame. Now we're going to try Netflix. Ooh, El Camino. Oh yeah, let's keep watching that. You're not going to put this in your video, right? Because this is copyright. I mean, after it starts playing, I'll stop. Yeah, so obviously this works. That's weird. I don't know, comment if Hulu works for you because we picked a show and then it just went to a black screen. Okay, turn it off before I get banned. Okay, so we're finishing up here. We're just about to get to our hotel. Kind of screwed up. We were supposed to turn back there and it's very confusing. <laughs> um, so overall, the trip took about 13 hours, which is of course longer than we thought, but that's always how it goes. We stayed at the last charger a lot longer than we planned. Just, I think we were watching Netflix. <laughs> so um, the plan was to get to the hotel with 50% charge and we're gonna get there with like 70, more than 70%. Um, but that's always good. You know, I don't have to worry about that. So overall, 650 miles, almost exactly and efficiency was really good even though it was raining the entire time yeah um, it was so, stressful at times yeah yeah it's really hard to see especially like around here we're not familiar um and so it was really hard to see but overall the drive was super easy i feel fine you know um, i'm not gonna say i could do the whole thing again right now <laughs> but um it was great i mean i had i just had fun the whole time that's the thing is even though it took a while it was still enjoyable for all of it gosh it's here for now we made it yeah so we made it here's our room 308 so yeah the trip was awesome 
you know, the first time we did the road trip, the car was new to us. We were going a lot farther. We didn't, you know, you worry about running out of charge and how long it's going to take. And the charging is just so fast. And now like with the Netflix and stuff, I know there's a point where I said it's useless, but it, it was actually really fun and it made us charge longer than we meant to. We got a little caught up in it. Yeah. So we were just like watching El Camino in the car. It's super comfortable. It sounds good. looks good. Um, and then we came here. We have 71% battery. For the car to just sit here for a couple days is no problem. I'll leave sentry mode on and all that just in case. And it's awesome. I mean, I wouldn't have, I don't think I would have done this trip if we had a gas car. What, what about you? Maybe. Uh, yeah, it'd be harder to justify it. Yeah, but exactly. It'd be harder. It's it, it, worth it. That's true. That's true. So we're just coming to see a buddy. We're only here for uh, tomorrow. We're going to the city tomorrow and we leave Friday. That's it. Um, so if you have any questions about road trips, you know, in a Tesla, an electric car, let me know. Uh, I know last time there's a lot of comments like, well, my gas car goes 600 miles on a tank and I'm okay. <laughs> Enjoy that. <laughs> like, it, I don't know. It's, it's just, it's different. I enjoy the charging times. I enjoy the driving times. I don't know, it's weird. It's hard to explain. Well, like even the charging aside, you have autopilot. Like you have a car that aside from the rain drove itself here. So right. I didn't have to drive at all. Where if we were driving a gas car, I would have to probably take over because he would get tired. Yep. And so it was just nice because we don't feel exhausted when we get here. We're like, okay, cool. Yeah, and I still feel fine. I mean. I'm, I'm like ready to go. So it's awesome. If you have any questions, leave them below. Uh, highly recommend it. Just, just do it. The car is great. Um, and I will answer any questions you have in the comments. See you in the next video. So this supercharger is kind of annoying because it Ruby Tuesday's here, but they don't open until 11 and it's 10:15. What are the chances of this? The bathrooms are closed for 15 to 20 minutes. buying stuff like this so that there goes our fuel money it's super windy it's super it's windy. windy we're walking in new york okay. we're trying to get to the park to see the statue of liberty and better be worth it where's your camera <laughs>